other thing, with all this rain, I had, did not get to finish turning over several of my beds. These are what are supposed to be beds. But due to the rain, never got a chance to finish them. Could never get out there and turn them. So I have this bed with tomatoes and carrots. And then that's rosemary that stays there all the time. And in the back, there's a bed with some sweet potatoes. And look in between the beds how grown it is. And every day I've been out here, but with this rain, it's just been impossible. You can't really mess with the soil too much. So we're getting all this grass in the beds. This is my cucumbers here. And they're growing great. I'm not complaining. And there's peas in between. You can barely see them due to the grass. And uh, But, yeah, there's cucumbers everywhere and uh, peas growing up in between. And the peas are doing pretty good. They like the rain, I guess. And let's see. I don't know if you can even see here all this grass. And then there's my peas growing up in between in the fence. Like I said, it needed a, a good deep layer of mulch, but um, nonstop rain. And here's my little tomatoes. I started from seed. And these are from my tomatoes from the year before, the year before. I always save my seeds. So we've got a lot of tomatoes coming this year hopefully but I ended up getting oh how many did I get over 50 tomatoes planted so hopefully we'll get a good batch of tomatoes this year because last year they just they were okay but not as good as I needed them to be to get us through the winter I had to buy tomatoes and uh, can I had to buy canned tomatoes also which I hadn't done that in many years. But got carrots growing up alongside. You can see in this bed. So tomatoes with carrots on the outside. And then in this bed, we have tomatoes with onions on the outside. And then weeds and weeds and weeds to spare. But I got some of it pulled yesterday, but you can see how it's like just ripping the soil out in clumps when you try to get it out so I'm trying to be careful and uh, so those are coming along pretty good asparagus we're getting I mean asparagus has been great this year I had the bed all cleaned out do you remember at the in another video at the beginning of the season and this is what we have again and I've been like I said trying to keep it plucked but Right now, if you'll look, yeah, these, I, I let them grow up like that. But um, if you'll see, got them coming up all over the place. They're, so I'll come back with my knife after I finish videoing. Well, I've got my knife in my bucket here, actually. But I'll wait until I'm finished videoing since I don't have a tripod out here with me and more tomatoes. And these are Cherokee purples. And they are um, heirloom tomatoes that I actually bought at our local grocery store, H-E-B, that um, had them on clearance for a dollar. So I just, for that price, even though I had started all those from seed, I just couldn't resist it. So I bought some more and I made some little areas to put them. So I've got these and um, I'll still hopefully get a chance to clear these out this one and then the one over there and um, I had that big green Explorer here at one time that was blocking the Sun to the garden but luckily we sold that so we don't have to worry about that now and um, Paul is getting a nice generator out of that and here's another bed. I don't know if you can see the peas for all the grass. They're doing remarkably well for having all, so much grass in them. 
Um, there's, oh yes, we've got lots of good peas we need to be plucking. And uh, more cucumbers growing in there. So these are supposed to be beds, like I said, and I've been, you see here where I tried to clean it out again, and I'm just having to be so careful because look how close to the roots of those peas it is. So, but the peas are growing quite well. Let's go look at the other beds. So, if you'll look, <laughs> all this water, it's like there's no place for it to go. It's just like squish, squish, slop, slop. It's been a mess in the house. There's just the bad part, the really bad part, is that, I mean, in one way it's beautiful because it's all nice and green outside and we had great blackberries this year because the rain and I threw ashes over in that area so um, but the problem is it's just been so much rain and then someone was telling me the other day at church that um, the farmer's almanac says that it's going to rain through most of June also here and possibly even rain into July and I mean anybody that knows anything about Texas knows that, that is unusual but um, look this is one of my sweet potatoes I'm gonna have to drill additional holes it's got drainage on the bottom but can't drain fast enough these are the potatoes I they were growing so fast I had cut some holes out of the bottom and some buckets and stacked them but got to do that again because we could be growing potatoes on there that at the moment are just gonna be big green things and here, corn is doing good. We've got corn and beans on this end of this bed. And then on this end, I've got the garlic that has, isn't ready to be pulled yet. And I grew, put some onions in there. And then we have some peppers and tomatoes 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 lots and lots of tomatoes tomatoes garlic 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 and then we have these self-watering containers which <laughs> this year of all years we really don't need self-watering because it is God watered right now um, and that's just peppers and onions and we did trim this tree back right here which had grown there was some branches that had grown so much that it had actually grown over into my garden area here and then here we have two more self-watering containers that again have tomatoes and onions and these tomatoes are just growing like wild crazy but uh, where is it? Somewhere in there. There are already tomatoes. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Already tomatoes growing on here, so. Yay. And I saw, oh yeah, I actually, I see lots of tomatoes over here. I didn't even see those the other day. So, and growing all down in the back there, so it's really doing well. And then... You see, we have um, squash and more green beans, and more corn, and more green beans, and more green beans, more green beans. Of our green beans, got these rattlesnake pole beans going, and they are doing great this year. So I guess the garden is liking all this rain. Me, on the other hand. Hmm. I've about had enough of it. Let's go check out the last bed. All right, and here we go, more beans. And these are more of uh, the rattlesnake beans. You see they are just really doing well this year. Rattlesnake beans everywhere. 
and they grow so nice and long. Here, let me see if I can get one out. Give you a better view. Oops, there we go. Yeah, look how nice and long those things get. They are awesome, awesome beans. So, and corn. And then this metal bed has absolutely nothing in it except weeds and sunflowers that are growing naturally. And then this last one, again, has uh, corn and beans in it. Corn is doing really well in that bed. These are the wild blackberries that have been grown. Oh, speaking of which, look, there's a beautiful blackberry. Woohoo! Thought I'd gotten most of them, but look at that. They were big and juicy this year. I had to love it. The only ones that aren't doing so well, and I moved them now, are these here. And it's the same soil that I put in those self-watering containers. They're not doing that well, and I mean, you can see, they're not, you say not well, they're doing awful. But part of that reason is, I think, is because they were up under those trees. So, um, I don't know. We'll just have to see. I moved them now. Maybe they'll do better. If not, I might have to move their location again or replant. I've got more seeds for more peppers, so I might just plant some more peppers in there. I guess we can go see what the boys are doing. They're screaming because... I haven't come over and give them a little treat yet this morning. We have kale there. And we have strawberries that are growing nicely. And I see a peel bug trying to help himself. Get out of my stuff. No peel bugs, no. Nope. And there we have Chinese broccoli and little um, mini bok choy cabbage, sweet potatoes, more kale, lemon tree, and there's another view. So, I don't know. Guess we'll see how it'll all do. If it keeps raining, it's liable to just start rotting the stuff, but we'll see.